big message for you last Sunday. Can I hear you say it? That's correct! You may still view our past episodes through our social media platforms. Let us now welcome the Awesome Kids First Timers with one awesome clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome! We hope you do join us every week, kids. Let us now begin our session with our opening prayer and the time for worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen! Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so I would become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I am God's beloved, I am God's servant, I am God's powerful champion, and I am God's awesome kid. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come on, kids! It's worship time!
Hello kids! I'm Teacher Sheila and I'm here again to share God's message to you. Before we start with our talk today, I have some personal questions for you. Have you ever felt like you're alone? Have you gone through suffering you think you don't deserve because you are doing good and being good? If yes, we can relate to Joseph in today's story. Let's see how he dealt with all the things he went through and how God showed his faithfulness in his life. We are currently in talk 9 entitled, God Turns Curse into Blessing. We learned about Joseph's difficult trials in the previous lesson. He was imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit after being beaten, thrown into a pit, and sold as a slave. The fact that Joseph was suffering so badly despite being a good man is what made his story so heartbreaking. But Genesis says that the Lord was with him during his terrible suffering. Do you experience unjustified suffering as well? Getting angry and frustrated and giving up on life are the typical reactions. What then should you do? Follow Joseph's example. Keep serving and give your gift to the world. Let's continue with the story of Joseph. Joseph's interpretation of Pharaoh's dream had come true. There was a severe famine in the land of Egypt. But thanks to Joseph's wisdom, Pharaoh had ordered that some of the food be stored away and sold during the famine so the people wouldn't starve to death. Last week, we learned that Jacob sent ten of his sons to Egypt to buy grain. The brothers came and bowed down to Joseph, who was in charge of distributing the food. The brothers didn't even recognize Joseph after all their years apart, but Joseph certainly recognized them. We heard last week that he gave them grain and demanded that they return to Egypt with their youngest brother Benjamin. In the meantime, Joseph had his brother Simeon put in prison. When Joseph saw Benjamin after many years, he was overcome with emotion and left in haste to cry. But Joseph gave them one last test. He had one of his servants hide his personal silver cup in Benjamin's bag to make it seem like he stole it. When they left, he had his servant chase them and accuse them of theft. As punishment, the brothers could go home, but Benjamin would be left behind. Judah went before Joseph, pleading for his brother's life. Please, he said, let me stay here in Egypt and be your slave in Benjamin's place. Our father wouldn't be able to bear it if he were to lose this son also. When Judah said this, Joseph knew that his brothers were truly sorry for what they had done to him years earlier in selling him into slavery. Joseph revealed to his brothers who he really was. Joseph knew that God had used the sin of his brothers to bring blessings to his family and the whole nation of Israel. Even though he suffered greatly, Joseph's faith in God never wavered. There was much celebrating at this reunion. Joseph then told his brothers to return to Canaan and bring their whole family back to Egypt to live. When Jacob heard that his son Joseph was still alive, he could barely believe it. What happy news! The whole family moved from Canaan to Egypt where they lived out the rest of their days. The story of Genesis continues to this day. How? You're in it. You're part of Genesis. The most important message of Genesis was spoken by Joseph himself. In their reunion, he told his brothers, You intended to harm me, but God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. God turns curse into blessing. You have failed many times. But Jesus intervened through the cross and saved us. Be assured that the Lord is always with you through all of life's ups and downs. Have a wonderful day today. Thank you for listening, kids. God bless you.
Hello dear awesome kids, it's me, your teacher Carms, and I'm happy to join today for our activity. In today's talk, we learned from teacher Sheila that God is there all along embracing us. We may have failed Him many times, but God intervened through the cross and transformed our scars into stars. With this message, we will be doing a God's Blessings craft, reminding us that there is nothing bigger than Him. It is the Lord alone who will turn all our curses into blessings. Now it's time for our activity, kids. But before we start, ask for the help of your parents or someone older than you as you prepare the following materials. Hard cardboard, cardstock, or Oslo paper. Colored sheet of paper, pen, glue, scissors. Here are the instructions. Draw a cloud shape on a piece of cardboard, cardstock, or Oslo. This will serve as your top base for your God's Blessings craft. Then set it aside. Get your colored sheet of paper, then cut several strips from it. Paste this at the back of your cloud. Cut raindrop shapes from another sheet of colored paper. Then write down all of the blessings, even the smallest ones that you have received from God. As you fill out the raindrops, Realizations will come with this activity as you experience God's blessings fall on you. End your activity with a prayer and thank God for taking care of us and blessing our lives. You can also hang this output on your wall. Thank you awesome kids! I hope you enjoyed doing our activity. Please take a picture of your output and post it in the comment section of the PICCAM Awesome Kids Ministry Facebook page. Don't forget to declare God's big message for you. God turns curse into blessing. And remember, God is a mighty God. He has the power to change everything into a great blessing for you. Nothing is too hard for Him. Until next Sunday, God bless you all. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for our work and play. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we have learned today. Send forth all the saints and guardian angels to guide us on our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye! See you next Sunday. Stay safe. God bless you. Bye, Sunday.